Kyle Busch is one second back. Earnhardt second and a half. Carl Edwards is two back. Hamlin is there, boys. He's there. He's stalking him. I believe Hamlin's a coach better. It seems like he has a bit of an advantage down in turn one and two. Teammates last year, rivals this year. Friends, maybe never. To but Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin are going to settle this right now. Whoa, right Hamlin clear. cut him some exit. slack. He it's had a run off. on him. Oh, Hamlin, Joey got loose. Right he got right a little sideways off the floor. There you go. Hamlin gave him a shot. Come One on, to go. Outside, barely. Outside. Hamlin there. Logano to the bottom, trying to hold his ground. That's going to be tough, though. But he, he's been running good on the bottom. If he can just clear Hamlin right there. No way. He's going to lose his momentum. They're going to touch hard. Are they going to make it? Make it back. Guys, down the back. Side by side. Here. Kyle Busch closing in. Clement. Watch out for the third there. place car. Kyle Busch, he's looking. Hamlin edges ahead. They get it. They touch. But they touch. And here goes Kyle. Hamlin got on the ball. Hamlin spins down the racetrack, and Kyle Busch wins in California. I thought they'd be nice to each other. They weren't. Hard impact on the 11 car, head on. I don't like the looks of that. Hard hit to the inside wall for Hamlin, a bounce off the outside wall for Logano, and it ends in a shower of sparks. I am not surprised. I, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I'm not surprised. Then he's got his window net down. I think he's fine. And that's a good sign to the rescue workers that he is okay. Two I, I, drivers went into turn three, both refusing to lose. I, I, I saw nothing wrong. That was two guys racing for the win. The 22 gets on. They're side by side. One pushes up a little bit. They make contact. And here is the five-hour energy big move of the race. That was the white flag right there. Yeah, that, that's when the Joey got loose off turn four, allowed Hamlin to get up beside him and make the pass. But here's where it gets, this is where it gets crazy. Joey can't quite get up in front of Denny right here. It's, it's a drag race down the back. Hamlin's got a slight advantage, but then Joey fights back, and this is where they really go nuts down here in turn three. Got to run, got to run, got to run, got a slight edge, but then Joey gets loose on the bottom, watch his car, gets loose, walks up the hill. They make contact. Then they really get together, and that's when the 22 went in the wall, and the 11 hit that inside wall hard. Watch his, that watch his car. Watch the back of the car. Ooh. I mean, the whole car just came up off the ground. And I don't see any safer barrier in that area right there. I don't either, Larry. But, Darrell, I agree with you. That's not over-aggression. That's not payback. That's two drivers racing hard for the win and refusing to lose. I'd fire both of them if they didn't do that. I'm a little, I am a little concerned for Denny because that was an incredibly hard hit. So that's Denny Hamlin being attended to at the scene. Joey Logano climbs out of what's left of his race car, and here's your winner. Kyle Busch breaks his winless streak. He gets the first win at Auto Club Speedway at Toyota's home track for them, and the first win here for Joe Gibbs Racing. And boy, Tony Stewart is after Logano. Well, I did see some punches thrown today. You can't say they're just pushing each other. Not sure what went on between Stewart and Logano. Now, Stewart could have been reacting to the restart, where Logano came way down the track to block Tony, who had a run on the inside. Let's take a look at that. Let's see what happens here. Got the... 
This is what Tony is upset about, no I guess. No question. Joy blocked him, cut him off right there, and I'm sure that's what no. Tony. That, that, that you know, quite honestly, it's a restart for right. heaven's sake. And and that, I, I mean, nobody did anything wrong. You, you know, Joey did nothing wrong. And that's Stewart going for the win, and it's Logano trying to go as low as he can go. Come on, boys, we're racing. And Denny Hamlin uh, has been helped into the ambulance after a hard crash into the inside wall at the conclusion of this race. Well, Matt, we've caught up with Joey Logano back in the garage area and uh, Joey controversy again. Uh, I know you've just had a chance to look at the replay with Denny Hamlin, your side of it. Uh, we worked it last week. Um, probably shouldn't have done what he did last week. So uh, that's what he gets. And um, besides that, I think our auto club Ford was uh, very strong all day. I was very uh, happy with um, the car we had. We were super fast, let a lot of laps, nothing to hang our head down about. That's for sure. We we're very, very proud of that. Uh, Doug Yates, thank you so much for the motor. Uh, that thing ran the last seven, eight laps with no water in it. Uh, just pushing water over over 300 degrees. So it's um, it's really amazing for those guys. So thank you guys that went at the edge and shop uh, to get a solid run out of here today. Um, just uh, look forward to get back to the racetrack and try it again. Joey, here's the restart. We just spoke to Tony Stewart. He was really angry. Tell us what happened on the restart. Yeah, um, well, I mean, I had to throw the block there. That was um, a race for the lead. Um, and I felt like if the 14 got underneath me, that was going to be the end of uh, my opportunity to win the race. Um, so I was just trying to protect the spot I had. Uh, and that was, I was actually pedaling because I couldn't keep the 18 to the line. Um, I was actually faster than the 18 getting the uh, tires hooked up. And then, you know, I'm trying to stagger myself, make sure I don't beat him to the line. And, and then I had to block the 14th run because I was pedaling it. So um, I'll talk to him and uh, uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know where he, I think he finished decent. So um, we'll just, uh, talk about it some more. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate your time. Let's go back to Chris Myers. All right. Thank you, Stephen. We're awaiting a health report. We certainly hope that Denny Hamlet is okay. You heard Logano say, uh, referring to Tony Stewart, I had to block. And, and that's what he gets referring to Denny Hamlin. Michael Waltrip, let's take a look at where it went bad. Well, when they're, they're, they come into the turn, Denny on the entry to turn three left Joey plenty of room on the bottom. I think Denny knew the, that the 18 was coming of Kyle Busch. He decided he better give him a little room. But but Joey just kept coming up and up and up and drove into the side of Denny. Uh, Denny didn't do anything wrong. I think Denny was respectful of the last lap and chose to give Joey extra room, and Joey used that extra room and a little bit more. So uh, you saw yesterday. This is what I'm talking about. I don't have any problem with anything that's happened here. This is a great race for the lead. You can see Logano is side drafting, bumping Denny, but when they get to the corner, watch what Denny does. He leaves plenty of room between the cars right there. Denny knows that Kyle's back there, and he's just going to make the turn. He didn't crowd Joey down the hill, but Joey just decided that he was going to have to push it harder and harder and harder to get this win. Look at Joey straight up into the side of Denny and crashed them both. Denny did a responsible job of trying to win the race. He gave, Ky he gave Joey room. He made the corner. He was going to have a great race with either one of them. I don't know which one would have won with Kyle on the outside, but this and, is a, uh, this is a sad crash. I mean, Denny hit really hard. Denny w did get out of the car, but he, he collapsed and uh, at, taken to the medical center here for treatment. We have not received an update yet, but we will make sure as soon as we get any information uh, to report to you regarding Denny Hamlin, we will. And getting out of the car, that's just second nature. You get out because you know that thing's smoking and you don't want in there. And when he got out and, and realized that he was hurt, he laid right down. So a lot of concern for Denny uh, here at the end of the race.